Hey everybody, it's NCP. We got a furnace. Oops. We got a furnace. This came the other day. I haven't opened it. I thought I'd do an unboxing. Um, I did a little bit of research online for a melting metal. Uh, like I said, I want to do a lost uh, PLA where I cast things on the printer or make things on the printer and then cast it. Um, some parts. So I'm going to open this and uh, I hope it's not broken inside. This is a uh, uh, Castmaster Propane Furnace uh, GG5000 Stainless Steel. Um, yeah, it would been really easy to make one, but I'm really kind of lazy, so yeah. I don't want to mess with it. Because I can't go back and forth to the parts store right now and get the plumbing supplies to make all the uh, gas parts. So let's take a look at this. And hopefully it's not all broken up. I worry about the crucible being broken there. <clears throat> it had good reviews on Amazon, so I went ahead and got it. If I could open the box, maybe I need an adult to help me. There we go. <clears throat> nope. Alright. Nope, that's an inner box, so... Here's what we got. We got some tongs. It looks like that will break the furnace. So let's just see here. Guess I got a golden ticket. Won't read that. User manual. Won't be reading that. I'm just kidding. I probably will. But not today. Get over here. Yeah, let me get this out of the box and then we'll uh I'll be right back. Let me pause this. Alright, so here it is. The furnace. And uh here's the gas line which is kind of short. There's no uh extra seal there. The regulator. No gauge on it of any kind. So just 20 PSI, I guess. Set regulator. Okay, here's the, um, oh, I forget what you call it. Pipe. Wells look. Could have been done better. It's pretty good, though, I guess. So this is how you control the airflow. Yeah, oh, spin this open, I guess. Yeah, it's got a nut on it. I guess that's got a link inside, yeah. Yeah, it's just got a solid pipe with a hole in it. So you don't let your air in. This will control your airflow right up there. You can set it. That, well, I've never seen any videos, but it has a nut welded to, to a washer, is all it is. And you can just set that so it doesn't change. And that will be going in the side here. But let's take a look inside. I think there's supposed to be a crucible here. I'm hoping. It's kind of small. I kind of thought this would be bigger. This is the, uh, what is this? Five something. Um, five kilograms. There's everything that's supposed to come with it. Hope that crucible isn't cracked. That's kind of what I was worried about. This is that ceramic or fire, uh, I don't know, I forget what you call it, but it feels like a, I don't know, it feels like sugar. When you make sugar ice, like an icy, it feels like that. So it's got a lot of airspace in it. Here's the crucible, and down in here's a fire brick. So, it's on top there. I paid, uh, yeah, more than you should. I think I paid $350 or something. It was, it's not stainless steel. I don't know what that is, but let's see. It's a graphite crucial. That's what I wanted. 
that is plenty big enough for anything I want to make. Um, I'm going to get a Coke can. I'll be right back. Hmm. Let me get a can. I'll be right back. Okay. Got a V8 can here. And some gloves. So, it's got a little chip on the side, but this is how big it is. So. That'll hold a can. Just for reference. Now, that's, that's bigger than anything I want to pour uh, right now. Just gears or anything. And like I said, I already got the setup here if I want to do a, a bigger furnace. Have like a bucket or something like they do. But for right now, this is just fine for me. So let's see if we can actually pick it up and not, not shatter it with these tongs. I don't, I'm not to build some new tongs. This isn't cool. Now I haven't did any real metal casting. Uh, I don't know, at least 20 years. No, 30 years uh, since, you know, or so for, since high school. So this is how it's supposed to go. Stiff. Yeah, that's not, that's not, doesn't feel good to me. And how are you supposed to pick that up? How am I supposed to get that out of there? Just guess? Yeah, no, uh-uh. Those tongs are not what's going to work for me. Because you can't really set it down in there comfortably. I don't like those at all. I mean, they'll work, but it won't work for me. And this, I have to adjust, I guess. I, I guess I will read the manual. I will not be a baby about it, but... Yeah. So that's it. Um, it's currently my understanding that you have to season a crucible. I've heard both ways on that. Uh, some people say yes, and people say no. I'm gonna go ahead and do it at least to dry the moisture out, and we'll see how that works. But I don't know. I don't have knowledge of that at this time, so we'll see. But I don't. I don't know. I've got other propane things I could hook up, but I'll just go with what they say for right now. Like I said, I don't have experience in this, but it's got 20, 20 PSI regulars, so that's all we got to know. All right, so that's the thing. We're going to do our our um, our own um, casting, metal melting. Um, the first thing I'll probably melt is, well, normally I would go down to the recycling place and buy aluminum. I don't really have any aluminum here, and cans make horrible aluminum casting because they oxidize. I was going to go down and get my old, um, the head for my Toyota pickup out there I did. Um, I kept the old one. I'll just chop it up with a bandsaw or something, jigsaw, or not jigsaw, a uh, sawzall, which is pretty much a lightsaber for those that know. So we'll t cut that up, put that in there, and smelt it down. I'll pull the, uh, the, the crankshaft out of it, and uh, or the camshaft, and, uh, the rock arms and all that stuff and whatever's not aluminum I don't know I don't know um, <clears throat> I got a different header on here now on the, the toilet out there with the different um what you call it different valves and shims and everything so it's a kind of an off-road one that won't really pass emissions uh, which we don't have out here anyway so it doesn't matter but which I don't even use in town really it just sets back there never used just around here to pull stumps and stuff but this is the five kilogram stainless steel I guess this is what stainless steel uh, this is not it's a castmaster uh, 5000 SS so about 350 bucks well <coughs> graphite dust we'll go ahead and get that crucible uh, seasoned uh, I'm gonna do some research online for that before I do I guess I heat it up in the one of the ovens downstairs to dry out the moisture, and then I just fire this up. But I have a lot of things I need to cast from plastic. Now I looked at different filaments, 
Yeah, hold on. Right back. I'm get a filament. Okay, this filament, which is made in China, probably safe, right? It is a food grade filament I bought a while back. And it turns out it's good for metal casting because it, it leaves no ash when they burn out. A plastic pair, so. I don't know, we'll see. There's information on it. Not that this camera will focus. But it's a type of PLA. And it, it burns out good, I guess. That's what they say. Which, like I said, I bought it because it's food grade. Because I had some stuff I wanted to print for my aquarium. Uh, I haven't did it yet, obviously. But <clears throat> if it's food grade, it's okay to go in the aquarium. Yeah, I don't know what this is. I don't know. But <clears throat> I'll put a link to this stuff I bought on Amazon. I think this is out of stock. But it was about 15 bucks a roll when I bought our spool. I bought a couple spools of it, so I'll use that for my prints. Um, it's probably no different than any other PLA, and it's probably lies. <laughs> you know, they say things burn out, who knows? You gotta write things. Uh, maybe they have the directions on the website, on, on, on Amazon, about how to burn things out, but we'll see if that works. But this NCP, this is our next project, because we're on lockdown, and we have to do what we're told, so we're gonna have fun. Alright, I'll go everybody and CP out.